And we are looking for the bus station, which is somewhere here. <laughs> Seriously, that had to happen. One hand, one camera, and luggage. Awesome. Okay. And I'm starving, and with so many restaurants around me, I think it's time to take a break. I'll catch you. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel Just Go with Amreen. For the last couple of weeks you've been seeing that I am in Serbia doing my first ever solo trip here. So I have been using this little town, this mountain resort area called Zlatibor as my base and exploring the outskirts of this place. But we have not explored Zlatibor itself. We'll be going to a couple of places that Zlatibor is known for and then tomorrow we are headed back to Belgrade via bus. Before we get started, I'm going to give you a quick walkthrough the room I am staying in. Well, I can't say it's a room, it's, it's an apartment, it's an Airbnb. It's gorgeous. I actually have a kitchen, I have a dining table, I have such a massive sofa. For the past three nights, I've been staying in a matchbox. Like I can barely breathe and move in that place and now I practically have a bedroom to myself. Like wow. <laughs> This place is super centrally located. It's like a minute walk away from the bus stop. I will leave the link to this place in the description box below. So in case you are coming to Zlaribor, this is the place for you to stay. So since it's a weekend here, today is a Friday. So they have uh, this flea market, you can call it, I guess, uh, where they have Everything selling from souvenirs to woolen clothing to um, cushion covers and um, I don't know, uh, cheese for example. I in fact had an interesting uh, encounter with someone when I bought cheese. Check this out. This is, what is this? Uh, it's cheese. Cheese? Yes. Serbian cheese? Yes. And what's Kaima? Mm. Nice. How much? Uh, one, sorry, one thousand and uh, one two zero zero. How much? Uh, one two zero zero. Yeah, but like for uh, one 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 kilo. Whoa! <laughs> no, no. A uh, hundred grams. Thousand grams. One kilo. Thousand grams. One kilo. Yes. One, one kilo. Uh, one. Uh, can, ne, one, 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 two, zero, zero. Yes, 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 yes. One hundred gram, one, two, zero. One kilo. One I don't know, but I don't want one. Kilo. Aha. Oh, He's finding a hard time doing math. <laughs> no, no, gram. Only gram. Kilogram. Not kilogram. Gram. <laughs> I want hundred grams. Yes. Okay. How much? Uh, one hundred and uh, twenty dinners. Yes, 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 uh, yes. Okay, yes. I'll take it. yes. <laughs> he got it. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. So after that interesting encounter with cheese shopping in the market, uh, I walked down further another thirty meters, I believe, and. I came to this lovely street which uh, has a lot of restaurants and a bunch of shopping boutiques and things like that. So it's it's just lovely. Everyone's just taking a stroll here. It's almost sunset and it's a great vibe. Honestly, I am so glad that I got the chance to explore Zlatibor because I really didn't think I would have the opportunity to see this gorgeous town. I have just been walking to something which you can see right behind me. It is the King's Lake or the Zlatibor Lake and that's one of the most famous things in Zlatibor. This area is a no-car zone. Basically, it's a pedestrian area which I love. There are like kids everywhere, families everywhere, dogs everywhere. It's surrounded and lined up with restaurants, boutiques, stores. You name it, it's here. For the past 10 years, Zatibor has been uh, developing at a very fast pace. There's construction everywhere, which the locals 
that grew up in Zaribor are not exactly liking. Well, it's great for travel and tourism and the economy and all that kind of stuff, but they feel like the essence of Zaribor is being destroyed. So it's about 4.30 p.m. right now and I haven't eaten anything for lunch and I'm starving and with so many restaurants around me, I think it's time to take a break. I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Good morning everyone. Rise and shine! We're still in Zlaribor and we are exploring this gorgeous town and there is a short queue for the next attraction that we are headed to. This is the world's longest cable car, I've been told. It takes about 25 minutes one way. It's 10 kilometers long and it takes you all the way to the top. So that's where we are heading right now. It's, it begins literally right now. So we are going to stand in the queue and get the tickets. I will let you know how much that is for. But I just want to brag. I picked the best accommodations ever. I am staying at an Airbnb. It's a one bedroom apartment. It is fabulous looking. And it's above uh, this gastro pub, which is wow. I really, really love it. And it's a great place for breakfast. I just had breakfast there. Great place to spend your Saturday night or Friday night. We have great music playing and it's right next to the gondola starting point where you can purchase the tickets. So you get off your apartment, have a meal, have a breakfast, whatever, and then get on the gondola and ride the cable car. I am the best. Okay, the gondola ride in Zlaribor is the priciest thing I am going to I have paid for it's a thousand dinars for one adult that's quite pricey most of the attractions the maximum I've paid is 250 dinar which is like two euros yeah this thousand dinar came up by riding that very long cable car the ride was indeed 25 minutes long and it was not exactly 10 kilometers it was approximately seven and a half kilometers we are at an altitude of approximately 1500 meters and from here you can actually see here that you are above the clouds there's just like a cafe right there that serves drinks and there is another cafe that serves food but I'm not sure if they're open right now basically there's not much to do here especially if there's no snow uh, the snow season generally starts from January this year it started from January and ended in April just so you know some essential information the cable car starts at 10 a.m. and the last cable ride from the mountain is 3 p.m. so please don't get stuck here I suggest getting to the cable car as early as possible. It opens at 10 a.m. and when I got here this morning, the queue was half of that. So we are done with our time in Zlaribor. We are now walking to the bus station, which is about 40 meters away from where I'm staying. I will be dragging 27 kgs down the street to the bus station. Good luck to me. Let's go. That and this and, uh, and cars. <laughs> And we are looking for the bus station, which is somewhere here. Okay, car coming. We are crossing. Can I go? Sorry. Thanks. Oh my god, my god. I can't believe I'm doing this. Okay. <laughs> Seriously. That had to happen. One hand, one camera, and luggage. We are at the Zlatibor uh, bus station and language is so hard. <laughs> they don't understand English, I don't understand what they're saying, but 
through uh, hand gestures, I figured out that the guy sitting in this booth right behind me is gonna tell me when my bus is here because I am like 20 30 minutes early. <sighs> Fingers crossed, I hope that is what he said because it's the only bus that goes to Belgrade today and I have to get there. Oh boy. <laughs> Alright guys, so this brings me to the end of this vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed sightseeing Zlatibor as much as I did. I will leave you guys for now and if you like this vlog, you know what to do. Give me a big fat thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Hit that bell icon so that you don't miss any of my upcoming Serbian adventures. Tonight we are in Belgrade but tomorrow is a new day, a new town and new adventures. So stay tuned for that one. Stay safe, stay healthy. Bye guys! Cheers! Mwah. Are into any so in mm. all right guys so yeah Most of the rooms have very little light in there. Yeah <laughs> I did that.